Hello and welcome to part two in a series of tutorials where we will be creating awesome network graphs. At the end of part one, we created a network graph that looks a bit like this on the screen where we had 10 nodes with one node in the middle and nine nodes around the outside. And these nine nodes were connected to this one in the middle through edges. At the end of part two, we'll be creating something that looks a bit like this where we have one of the nodes that were around the outside connected to five other nodes, creating a second level of nodes. And we we'll have also specified a shape and color for all the nodes that we've currently created. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we are going to create our five extra nodes and the edges to connect to one of these radial nodes we had last time. And we do that the same method we used in part one, where we create a new node list, and then we add those nodes to our drawing, and then we do the same with our edges. So let's do that. Here we've got NX node list two, which equals 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And these are our five new nodes. And then we can add them into our graph by typing in NXG, dot add underscore nodes underscore from and then calling our second node list. Cool. The next thing we need to do is we need to create edges and connect these five extra nodes to one of our radial nodes. So let's connect them to node four. So if we create a list and in the list we have a node which we want to our new node which we created and then the node we want to connect it to. So we need to create five edges, one for each of our new nodes. So let's create the first edge from four to 11, then our second edge from four to 12, and then so on, connecting 13, 14, and 15. Once we've created that list, we can now add the edges to our graph by typing in nxg.add underscore edges from, and then calling our edge list, our second edge list, NX edge list two. So if you run that, and then we can see what we've got. So this is our part two. So here we've created our second level, this is our node four, and these are our five new nodes. But they all look the same, so it may be, it's beginning to get a little bit confusing. So let's change the colors of our existing nodes and our new nodes and let's have a new shape for our new nodes so we can distinguish between our different levels. Okay, so in our previous examples we've used the function nx.draw to draw our graphs then we saved it as a picture, a PNG. From now on we're going to be customizing our nodes and our edges so instead of using nx.draw we're going to use nx.draw underscore network x dot network x underscore nodes and underscore edges so that we can customize our nodes. Now in order to be able to use our draw underscore network x function we need to be able to specify our position for our nodes and our edges. So what we need to do is we need to type in pos for position equals nx dot in this case we can specify layouts that we want in this case we're going to go for a spring layout so if we type in nx dot spring underscore layout and then in brackets type in nxg and what that will do is we haven't got many nodes at the moment so you won't see the spring layout but when you have lots more edges coming in you will start to see the this, this sort of graph resemble a spring, which looks pretty awesome. Okay, so now we've specified a position. Let's draw our existing node list, our first node list that we created in part one, and customize it a bit. And then we can do the same for our second edge list and node list, and then we can see our output. So if we type in nx.draw underscore network x underscore nodes, and then in brackets, type in nxg, calling our graph, comma, pos 
for our positioning of our nodes and our edges then type in comma node list equals and then we call our first node list and next node list which we created in part one that will call our that will add our network nodes to our drawing and then now we can start to go ahead and customize it so if we type in if we continue this line and type in comma node underscore color equals b that will make that first set of nodes blue and then we can also specify a shape and by typing in comma node underscore shape equals and then put circles in quotation marks and so that will make these 10 nodes both blue in color and circular in shape so now we can just connect these edges again like we did before by typing in nx dot draw underscore network x underscore edges instead of nodes then in brackets type in nxg underscore pos for position and then comma node list equals nx edge list which is our first edge list that we created in part one so now let's add our part two creations our 15 extra our five extra nodes making it 15 in total and our five extra edges we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did in the other two lines above by using nx dot draw network x underscore nodes and it'll be exactly the same except our node underscore color will be r for red instead of blue and our node underscore shape will be s for square rather than zero for or o for circles then we can do the same thing we can by adding the edges we can add our second edge list by typing in nx dot draw underscore network x underscore edges and then call our node list to be nx edge list two and we put our second edge list into our drawing so now if we run the code we will have a new drawing where we have a second level of nodes and edges and this second level will be will stand up much better than the previous image that I showed you. So let's run it. Wait for it to load and save it as a picture. And here we have our completed um, picture that I showed you right at the start of this video. We have our first level in blue and our second level in red. And our red nodes are also square. And our first nodes are circular. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next part, we'll be adding even more nodes and doing even more customizations. So by the end of this series, we're gonna have some awesome looking network graphs, like the ones I showed you right at the beginning of this series. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to my channel and also donate any money, if you wish, to my Patreon account, which you should see a link to it in this video or in the description below. Thanks very much for watching.